Exercise 1.1 Hassan shaded in grey these numbers on a hundred square. The numbers form a pattern. 11, 22, 33, 44, 55, 66, 77, 88 and 99. What is Hassan's rule for finding the next number? The rule is to add 11. What is the next number in his pattern? He is going to add 11 in 99 to get 110. The sequence 10, 16, 22 continues in the same way. Write the next two numbers in the sequence. The difference between 16 and 10 is 6 and the difference between 22 and 16 is 6. So we are going to add 6 in 22 to get 28 and then we are going to add 6 in 28 to get 34. Question number 3. The rule for a sequence of numbers is add 3 each time. 1, 4, 7, 10, 13. The sequence continues in the same way. Circle the numbers that are not in the sequence. 22, 28, 33 and 40. Let's take 13 and add 3 into it to get 16. 16 plus 3 is 19. 19 plus 3 is 22. 22 plus 3 is 28. 28 plus 3 is 31. 31 plus 3 is 34. 34 plus 3 is 37. 37 plus 3 is 40. So the number that is not coming in the sequence is 33. And instead of 33, 34 needs to be there. Question number 4. A sequence has the term 2020 and the term to term rule is add 11. Write the first five terms of the sequence. 2020, 2031, 2042, 2053 and 2064. Question number 5. Write the next four terms in these linear sequences. Linear sequences increase by addition or subtraction by the same amount each time. Non-linear sequences do not increase by a constant amount. So, the difference between 7 and 10 is negative 3. The difference between 4 and 7 is negative 3. So, we are going to minus 3 from 4 to get 1. 1 minus 3 is minus 2. Minus 2 and minus 3 gets you minus 5. And minus 5 and minus 3 gets you minus 8. Minus 9, minus 7, minus 5. The difference between minus 9, minus 7 and minus 9 is a positive 2. And the difference between minus 5 and minus 7 is again 2. So, we're going to add 2 to negative 5 to get minus 3. Minus 3 plus 2 gives you minus 1. Minus 1 plus 2 gives you 1. 1 plus 2 gives you 3. 1095, 1060, 1025. The difference between 1060 and 1095 is negative 35. The difference between 1025 and 1060 is again negative 35. So we're going to subtract 35 from 1025 to get 990. 990 minus 35 gives you 955. 955 minus 35 gives you 920. 920 minus 35 gives you 885. Question number 6. Here's a part of a number sequence. The numbers increase by 25 each time. 25, 50, 75, 100 and 125. Circle all the numbers below that will be in the sequence. 750 and 900. Question number 7. Amy makes a number sequence. The first term of her sequence is 1. Her term to term rule is add 7. Amy says if I keep adding 7 I will read 77. 
Is Amy correct? Explain your answer. When we add 1 and 7, we get 8. If we keep on adding 7, we will read 78 and not 77. So, no. All terms are one more than a multiple of 7. Here's a part of a number sequence. The first number is missing. Remember to work backwards. Write the missing number. 287 plus 5 gives you 292. 292 plus 5 gives you 297. And 297 plus 5 gives you 302. A sequence has the first term, 1001, and the last term, 1041. The term-to-term -term rule is add 5. Write down all the terms in the sequence. 1001, 1006, 1011, 1016, 1021, 1026, 1031, 1036 and 1041. Each number in this sequence is the double of the previous number. Write the missing numbers. 1 and a half and 96. Write the missing number in this sequence. So, the difference between 3 and 1 is 2. The difference between 6 and 3 is 3. The difference between 10 and 6 is 4. So, we can say the next number would be 15 because the difference between 15 and 10 is 5. Explain how you worked it out. Add, previous to the, add 5 to the previous term. Question number 12. The numbers in this sequence increase by 10 each time. 4, 14 and 24. The difference between 14 and 4 is 10. The difference between 24 and 14 is again 10. The sequence continues in the same way. Write two numbers from the sequence that make a total of 68, 34 and 44. The two numbers that make 68 are 24 and 44. Describe each of the sequence below. Is the sequence linear or nonlinear? What is the first term? What is the term to term rule? What are the next two terms in the sequence? 5, 9, 13 and 17. The difference between 9 and 5 is 4. The difference between 13 and 9 is 4. We can see that this is a linear sequence. So, the sequence is a linear sequence. The first term is 5. The term to term rule is to add 4. And if we continue the sequence, we'll get 21 and 25. 3, 11, 18 and 24. The difference between 11 and 3 is 8. The difference between 18 and 11 is 7. And the difference between 24 and 18 and is 6. So the next number will have a difference of 5. And the next number next to it would have a difference of 4. So this is a non-linear sequence since the difference is not constant. The first term is 3. The term-to-term -term rule is to add 8, then 1 less each time. And if we continue the sequence, we'll get 29 and 33. 3, 6, 12 and 24. The difference is 3, 6 and 12. We can see that the number is doubling. So... The sequence is nonlinear since the difference is not constant. The first term is 3. Term to term rule is double. And the next two terms are 48 and 96. Question number 14. Write a sequence containing these numbers. Your sequence must have at least one number between the two given numbers. Describe the rule you use. There could be different answers. So, the first two numbers are 1 and 10. We can write 1, 3, 6 and 10. You can have your own answer. 
So the difference between 1 and 3 is 2. The difference between 6 and 3 is 3. And the difference between 10 and 6 is 4. So we can say add 1 more each time. 6 and 20. 16, 13 and 20. What we did is that we added 7. 3 and 15. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. We added 3. 1 and 100. 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, 81 and then 100. Multiply each counting number by itself. That means there are square numbers. 2 multiplied by 2 is 4. 3 multiplied by 3 is 9. 4 multiplied by 4 is 16. 5 multiplied by 5 is 25. 6 multiplied by 6 is 36. 7 multiplied by 7 is 49, 8 multiplied by 8 is 64, 9 multiplied by 9 is 81, and 10 multiplied by 10 is 100. Thank you.